So let's talk about body language when it comes to giving a presentation. In the 1960s, a guy by the name of Albert Mahabrian, who was a professor at UCLA, he did a study and he tried to understand when people are communicating with each other or presenting to each other, how much of the meaning of the message comes from anything that you see or the visuals, how much of the meaning of the message comes from the vocal, which is the sound of the voice, like volume and inflection, and how much of the meaning of the message comes from the actual words or the content. And what he discovered was, based on the study he did, 55% of the meaning of the message comes from what people see. 38 comes from the sound of the person's voice, the volume and the inflection, and 7%, only 7% comes from the actual words. Now, I'm not saying, nor is he saying, that words are not important. I think the words in your message are clearly important. But what that study told a lot of people is that how we present our ideas and how we present our message through nonverbals and body language is very, very important. A couple things I'll touch upon. Hands. I'll talk about hands and stance. When you're using your hands, a lot of times people feel, or they've been taught in grade school, that they shouldn't use their hands when they're presenting. Not at all. You should definitely be using your hands and use them as you naturally would when you're gesturing and talking to people. So if you're giving a presentation on having the team work together, use your hands to display that. If you're talking about, hey, we had very high profits, then use your hands to display that. If, you have, if you're saying that we want to cover the whole country, use your hands to display that. So the hands can help uh, describe your ideas very well. When it comes to the stance, there's three choices you have with your stance. Two of them are good. One choice is this. Don't move around. In your stance, just get planted. That's a good choice. The other choice, the second choice is a good one, and that is when you move, move on purpose. So if you're going over to the flip chart or you might be using PowerPoint or grabbing a, a prop, that's good purposeful movement. The last choice with stance is not a good choice, and that is when you're in one area but you're just repeatedly moving back and forth or rocking side by side. That can be really, really annoying. So keep in mind with your hands, use them naturally, and with your stance, either get planted or move on purpose.